Beatia. Today we are looking at Capro. made from the cotton liner that remains on the cotton plant after the cotton harvest is complete. That part used to be discarded. Capra was first made in Japan in the late 1800s, so it exists for quite some time, but it's only in recent years that it gained so much popularity. The fluffy fiber around the cotton seeds are too small to be used in the production of traditional cotton. The fibers are literally just too short to be used. They are too short to be spun. Therefore, these small fibers get dissolved in a solution that turns these small fibers into a cellulose that we've seen in other semi-synthetic episodes. The cellulose goes through a spinneret. A spinneret looks like a shower head where the solution gets pushed through and from the bottom, small new filaments are formed. And these filaments are much longer, that are much more easier to work with than the original fibers that we started off with. The solution used in large quantities are made out of copper, caustic soda, and ammonia. All three of these can be toxic if they're not disposed of properly. Capro is also known as vegan silk these days, and once we start looking at what Capro fabric looks like, you'll understand exactly why. If you completely disagree with the naming of vegan silk, I think you'll be very interested in the greenwashing episode coming up in this season. I'll have it linked once it's ready. In episode 5 of this series, when we had a look at tensile lyosol, we had a look at the concept of a closed loop system. While researching Capro, one resource said that Capro is also made using a closed loop process. I didn't find enough backing for that and enough resources to say that, so therefore I will still be considering Capro as a semi-synthetic fabric that is not produced using a closed loop process. If you happen to know more or you can share a link with me and some of the other viewers, please do so down below. I think it's great that more parts of the cotton plant can be used in the production of making material. In addition to that, Growing cotton requires lots of water, so it is great that we can get something extra out of the plants and out of the water that went into growing that plant in creating capro, although capro in itself requires a lot of other chemicals and a lot of extra water, of course. It'll be great if we can get capro made from organically grown cotton, that way we at least have a lower footprint. If you haven't seen any of the other semi-synthetic episodes, I'll have them all linked down below. Let's have a look at a few examples of what Capro looks like. I'm going onto the Mango website, let's have a look. Okay, this one says belted Capro dress. I think you'll agree with me that vegan silk, or at least the description thereof, is quite fitting because we do see a shiny soft finish to all of these pictures. Uh, let's have a look at this one up close. This is maybe too close up because we can't really get the full effect. But we can see it's quite a, it looks like a soft fabric. Very drapey in this picture, I'd say. Let's have a look at and other stories. All right, this maybe gives us some idea. This blue top, I'd say, is quite silk-ish. It's got a very soft finishing and let's just have a look at the fabric composition. Okay, so it's almost 90% capro. I'm going on to one more website because the others I felt was not sufficient. So I'm going on to Netta Porter and I know it's a very expensive website, but look at this blue shirt. This is a brilliant example of capro, but let's just make sure and have a look um, at the bottom, at the details and care. Yep, we can see it's 100% capro 
and this is just such a brilliant example definitely more of a shiny finish in comparison to the rest definitely in this picture we can see it very clearly and let's see the way it moves yes it's imitating silk very much um, and very well so therefore vegan silk hey Thank you for taking the time to learning about Capra with me today. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If so, please do give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more upcoming videos from myself. Have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.